Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. Learn how to fix high ping on Windows 11 or Windows 10 computer. So if you have been, uh, you know, playing games and you're getting very high ping and you want to lower your ping in games, this tutorial is for you. It will be very helpful. You just need to watch this tutorial very carefully and it is very easy to follow and I'm sure you will be able to do it. And guys, if you are new to the channel, please hit the like and subscribe and just do a right click in the start icon and then click on run. Once you have typed it, I mean, once you have opened the run window, you will, you need to type reg edit. Once you have typed it, click on OK and it will ask you to say yes and a new window will appear like this. So here we will take a registry backup first. It is always a good practice to do so. So go to file and go to export and you can export anywhere by just giving a name to it. So let's say if you want to uh, reset or back to the same settings, you just need to go to file and you can import that backed up registry. So once you are done, here we need to go to this H key local machine. Now here you will find software. Now wherever I'm going here you will see the location. So I will show you the location how you can go to that window. So here we need to expand the software and once you expand the software look for Microsoft. So here we go I have found the Microsoft and I'll just expand that as well and I'll just scroll down under Microsoft we are looking for Windows NT so that must be very down here I found the Windows NT and you can see the location HK local machine the software Microsoft Windows NT and I will just do um, expanded and here we have this current version I will expand that as well so under current version we are looking for multimedia and here we go we have found it and I just need to expand it and you will find system profile once you have find it click here just do a left click and at the right hand side you will find Network Throttling Index and you just need to do a right click and click on Modify and here you must have a different value AAA sort of thing now here you need to type 8 times F consecutively 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 8 times F in a row and you just need to click on OK and once you do that close this window and do a right click in the start icon again go to run and this time type ncpa.cpl once you have typed it click on OK and you will find your Ethernet or the Wi-Fi connection so if you're using a cable connection you can use you can select your ethernet or if you're using a wi-fi connection you can select wi-fi now here you need to do a right click and then go to properties and once you do that a new window will appear like this and we need to go to this internet version 4 under network tab networking tab and I'll just go to properties of that internet protocol version 4 and click on use the following DNS server addresses either type 8.8.8.8 and secondary DNS 8.8.4.4 or you can use 1 1 1 1 so it is a cloud DNS and secondary DNS is 1.0.
dot zero and just do that the way I have done it one dot one dot one dot one and one dot zero dot zero dot one. So this is a cloud DNS, a very uh, fast DNS. It will surely lower the ping in games and you just need to click on OK and click on close. Once you're done, do a right click in the start icon again and then go to device manager. Now, once the device manager is opened, look for any option which says network. So I can see the network adapters here. So I will click on that. And here we need to look for our um, adapter. If So if you're using a um, Ethernet or cable, you can look for your Realtek, ECI, GB, family controller. Or if you're using a wireless adapter, if your computer, laptop, desktop is connected wirelessly, you can select that wireless one. Just do a right click and then go to properties. And here we need to go to this advanced tab. Now in advanced tab, I'll tell you some settings which you need to follow. And I'll tell you why you should do that. So 80211ABQ, it should be dual band. So you can select dual band. So whenever you get the option for five gigahertz, you can do that or you can select 2.4. However, if you're selecting dual band, it will be good. Now, the thing which we need to select here is the channel width for 2.4 gigahertz. It should be auto and channel width for five gigahertz. It should be auto. And one of the most important part is fat channel intolerant. If it is disabled, then enable it. Once you are done, scroll down click on roaming aggressiveness. So if you're a router, you're, um, if you're getting good signals, Wi-Fi signals, and if your router is nearby your computer, you can make it lowest because higher the roaming aggressiveness, lower the internet speed. So if you make it lower, the internet speed will be better. So you can select lowest as I'm getting good uh, um, networks I mean, the network bars in my computer and it is nearby my router. So once this is done, and you can also select the preferred band. So I have got two options. If you're getting only 2.4 gigahertz option, you can select that. And if you're getting prefer 5 gigahertz, select that. Us. Because 5 gigahertz is any time better compared to 2.4 gigahertz. Once you're done, you just need to click on OK and restart the computer restarting the computer is a must and once it is done try playing your game try to check your ping and let me know how much it was earlier and how much it is now i'll be glad if you can do that and guys please hit the like and subscribe and leave a comment and if your computer is running slow you can watch this video at the end of this tutorial have a wonderful day.